Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to calculate the ratio between input and the output shaft of the planetary gear shot here on the scheme. It is made out of three gears, the sun gear, planet gear and the ring gear. Uh, the parameters of each gear are shown here in the table. I've also made some analytical calculation to calculate the ratio and the equation shows that it's going to be somewhere around 5.47. <coughs> I will compare this result with the answers uh, given result and see if they match. If if they match, um, to calculate the ratio using ANSYS I'm going to show you the constraint equation option, how it works, and tell you a few words how to use it. Uh, the analysis will be made in the rigid dynamic module. Uh, here you can see already uh, loaded geometry. For the purpose of this analysis, I suppressed all the screws, nuts, bearing, and all unnecessary things that were hiding in this model. But in the description, you can find a link to the full geometry, so you can run, try to run analysis on your own. The first, first thing which we are going to do is to impose the correct constraint to the geometry to be sure everything moves properly. To do this, we are going to use the joint option from the contact menu, uh, which is hiding here. First, we are going to set the body to ground jo joint with the rev revolute specification on the first 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 uh, um, shaft. Uh, I know this is the output shaft, but it's much easier on the example to start from this point. And the body to ground joint with the revolute speci specification on the first uh, shaft uh, will allow body to rotate only around the z-axis. Uh, okay, let's let's. Uh, Add the revolute to this to this joint. As I said, we have to choose one of the cylindrical cylindrical faces. The Z is uh, in the axis of the shaft. Let's hit apply, and that's all what what you have to do. Uh, the next joint will be body to body, and we are going to uh, set the rotation between carrier and the planet gears for 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 each gear. Uh, okay, let's let's do it now. Revolute. Um, the cylindrical face of the carrier and the cylindrical face of the planet gear. Now I'm going to skip the video to the moment where all the uh, planet gears will be uh, set properly. Okay, all the joints between carrier and the planet gears are set properly. Uh, the last joint will also be body to body revolute and we are going to set it between the input shaft and the output shaft. Uh, this will prevent our shafts from moving away and it would also let it rotate around the Z axis only. So again body to body revolute. Mm. The first cylindrical face and the second one. Okay, that is all what we have to do uh, with the joint option. Now we are going to set the rotation of the first shaft and the, rot rot and the rotation ratio between the cooperating ge gears. To do this we are going to use the previ previously mentioned the constraint equation option. This option let us set the ratio movement between bodies. For example, if we have a gear with the ratio 1 to 4 and we can set that if the first gear would rotate by 100 degree, then the second one will rotate only by 25 uh, degrees. We can also do such things with the linear movement or, movement or any other. This is why this is so great option, because you, you don't have to use the contact between bodies, which significantly reduces the calculation time. But let's get, let's get back to analysis. First we are going to set, let's say, a 50 steps, which I've already set, uh, one second each. Uh, previously it's like this, you have to only change 1 to 50. Uh, next we are going to set the rotation veloc velocity for the first shaft. Let's say at the first uh, 10 seconds the shaft will accelerate from 0 to 1 RPM and then it will rotate with the con constant speed. To do this we are going to set th the joint load, we are going to set the first first joint we, we've set, rota rotational uh, velocity, 
let's go with constant let's put the tabular data let's go as I mentioned from zero uh, in the first second the shaft is accelerating to the one rpm as you can see and the rest of the time it's moving with the constant speed I will run the analysis to show that there, for now the only it's uh, only first shaft is is moving okay the calculation is done uh, now let's run the analysis but let's change the frames to 500 let's say uh, let's say for for four four seconds uh, you will see that only the first shaft and the carrier is moving uh, there is a collision between gears be the, because there is no ratio movement set between between gears to do this we are going to set the constraint equation option and how to do this first we are going to add the first joint and the joint between carrier and the planet gear the, this one and now we have to put the proper uh, ratio between them proper ratio movement between them the first one let's say one and what we have to put put here we know that the uh, rotating of the planet planet gear is highly dependent on the ratio between ring gear and the planet gear so we know that the one has a 85 uh, tips and the second one has a 33 tips let's calculate the ratio between them uh, the it will give a 0.83 around let's put this value here in the in the equation option and this is our fa first uh, let's add a minus because the gear should rotate in the opposite direction and this is the rotation between first first uh, first gear we have to do this for for the rest of them so I'm going to duplicate this one this one and this one and just and I'm going just to change the uh, the actual joint okay let's run the analysis Is if everything sh went okay w we should now see the rotation of the of the planet gears and there should be no collision between the ring gear and the planet gear okay this looks great uh, now as you can see the only one is which is not rotating rotating is the uh, last last shaft uh, and we have to do the same thing wi which we made between the ring gear and the and the planet gear now we have to put again constraint equation but between the uh, planet gear and the sun gear to do this we are going to set the next constraint equation we are going to add one of the of the revolutes from the planet gear and add again the uh, last last joint and again we have to put the constraint equation uh, ratio between uh, sorry no no constraint equation it's going to be a ratio between between a sun gear and the planet gear now we know it's going to be uh, 19 to 33 let's calculate this one uh, 19 to 33 it's going to be 0 0.57 let's copy this one let's add this one and again we are going to put the minus at the beginning because the uh, gear should rotate in the opposite direction now let's check if everything moves uh, properly Yes, as you can see, everything smooth, smooth. It, it is great. Okay, now we can perfor perform our last step, which is calculating the rotation ratio between uh, input and the output shaft. To do this, we are going to uh, we are going to um, use the probe option, angular velocity let's choose the first body and the angular velocity 
and the second body. Let's evaluate all the results. And now let's take a look uh, on the first shaft. Uh, as you can see on the constant speed range, uh, on the constant speed range, it is rotating with the one RPM just as we assumed. On the other hand, uh, the second shaft is moving with the speed of five five point forty seven RPM, which is the same as the calculated one. Finishing this lecture, you can calculate the ratio of any gear, any gear uh, using this method. For example, we can calculate the ratio between input and output shaft of few planetary gears or other gear connected one by one. Uh, that's all from me. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. Thank you.